Hello fellow travelers and welcome back to our Bix adventure. My name is Cynthia and today we're gonna make Southwest egg roll bowls. That's right, I was inspired again by my friend Amanda over at Dit Dot. I love riffing off of her recipes. She makes some of the coolest stuff. Always is a huge inspiration to me. She made some Southwest egg rolls, fried, baked egg rolls. Oh, they, were, they looked so good. I thought, how can I make this gluten-free? How can I make it grain-free? So I headed over to my favorite spot, Pinterest, and I read a bunch of recipes on how to make the filling for a Southwest egg roll bowl. Then I went shopping in my fridge because I have part of a purple cabbage. I have some pepper jack cheese, can of black beans, can of corn. I got some hot sauce, some spices, have a little bit of spinach. So I'm gonna try to make this work and I'd love it if you came along with me. If you're ready, press the like button and let's get to work. This is the perfect recipe for leftover chicken. So let's talk about corn for a second. I don't normally eat corn. I love corn, but I don't normally eat it. It's a uh, GMO and not a huge fan of those, but I'm excited to try this recipe. So I'm gonna go for it. A lot of people who are gluten-free don't do well with corn and or otherwise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I can do with it. It looks good. All of this is gonna cook down a lot. We're just gonna let it cook down. I'm gonna throw some oil in here. I've got onion and garlic, the red cabbage, and some spinach. All of this I just had in my fridge randomly. I'm gonna throw some olive oil on there. I think this would be great with avocado oil as well, but avocados and I don't get along very well. So we're gonna go with olive oil. We're gonna put a clever on this and just let it sit for a little bit. It's been cooking for, I don't know, maybe about five or seven minutes. Let's take a peek under the dome and see what we have. That is really purple, like really, really purple. I think I could have used some green cabbage and some purple cabbage but this is what I have, so this is what we're gonna use. This is probably gonna be one of those recipes that doesn't look like much, but probably tastes amazing. That corn and that, the yellow of the corn and the purple of the cabbage is making it look kind of like an Easter basket <laughs> rather than Southwest, but I hope my flavors get me to the next round. Let's bump up some Southwest flavors. I have some chili powder here and I have some cumin. Now, I think this is one of those recipes where you could literally put anything in here. The original recipe calls for avocado and jalapeno and all kinds of good stuff, but unfortunately, I'm allergic to all of that. So we're gonna go with a safe version of what I can have. A little less cumin than chili powder. Let's give it a stir and let it go for a while longer. We want that cabbage to be super broken down, like, mm, like you know how cabbage gets. That's what we want. I just did a taste test. It needs salt, like a lot of salt. So we're going to go in with some sea salt and see what we get. So that's been going for a little minute. We're going to give it a taste test after the salt. Much better, but I think my corn to black bean ratio is way off. I think I actually need another can of black beans plus. I think it will help stretch the filling out a little more. I'm gonna have grilled turkey meat with my Southwest egg roll in a bowl. Mr. Biggs is gonna have these chicken thighs that I use to make bone broth with. Let's see what I can come up with. This recipe seems very forgiving and you guys know I'm always down to make a frugal gluten-free meal. Can you imagine if I could chop this fast in real life? So let's talk about Mr. Big's egg roll in a bowl filling. This I think is the perfect recipe for any leftover chicken and I'm thinking even like some leftover Thanksgiving turkey. You could really take leftover Thanksgiving turkey and spin it by making this Southwest egg roll in a bowl. I've got the chicken pieces here in this bowl. They're already cooked so I'm, I'm going to give them a little marinade and some hot sauce and I'm going to do half a teaspoon, not even a half a teaspoon, just a little bit of cumin and half a teaspoon of chili powder. 
Mr. Biggs loves spicy things. Give that a little stir so it can get all nice incorporated. And now we have raw spices in here. So we're gonna wanna cook those spices out a little bit, not too much, cause you don't want your chicken to be too like crazy. That needs a little bit more hot sauce. There we go. I'm gonna throw these green peppers into a skillet and get them cooking. Then I'll add the chicken for his topping. I've got this little cast iron skillet. I'm gonna make the filling in that. There we go. And we're gonna use a completely different utensil for his because I don't wanna cross contaminate into mine and get an allergic reaction. Let's check on our filling and see how broken down it is. Looking really good. It smells amazing. One of the recipes on Pinterest that you don't necessarily have to do chicken. You can do turkey, you can do shrimp, which sounds to me, I love shrimp. So that sounds to me like next time, if I have any shrimp in the freezer, I'll be making this to go with it. That filling is super hot, but I think our black bean to corn ratio is a lot better with the two cans. Let's give it a little taste. It's really good. I'm gonna turn the heat off and just kind of let it set in the pan now. I made Mr. Biggs a mini taste test. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna let him have a taste test and see what he thinks. I like this shot. <laughs> Mr. Biggs did his taste tester bowl and said that he loved the Southwest flavor of it. And he he's playing the game. He said he couldn't wait to eat it. So we'll be having that for dinner tonight. I think if I make like a lime sour cream to go on top, it's just gonna put it over the edge. Let's assemble the bowls. Every week I do a gluten-free meal plan and meal prep to help us keep on our gluten-free eating plan because I have to tell you that stopping by a fast food restaurant or ordering out is not for us. It doesn't fit into our budget and it's also not very healthy. Gluten-free options, even at a restaurant sometimes, are just not good for you. Let's plate up and see what we get. I'm actually gonna use this Mexican style cheese for mine. I am allergic to pepper jacks, so just a sprinkle, not much. I don't really think it needs much. Most of the recipes that I looked at also had a chipotle ranch dressing that you could make from scratch. I'm actually not gonna do that. It called for Greek yogurt, and since I don't have that on hand, I'm. I'm not gonna make it. Let's make a lime crema while we're here. I'm just gonna put some sour cream in a bowl. About a tablespoon of lime juice. And then I'm gonna throw some garlic salt on the top. Just a little, not too much. Perfect. This is definitely a win for the 2021 freezer challenge. I've got pepper jack from my freezer that's been there since December. I've got the leftover chicken thighs that I used for the bone broth. I've got the corn and black beans out of my pantry. And that purple cabbage was just hanging around at the bottom of the fridge begging to be used. Is it the prettiest dish I've ever made? No. It definitely needs some green cabbage to help lighten up the color. It kind of looks black. Tastes delicious. Mr. Biggs did do a taste test and said he absolutely loved it and please make this again. So I think this is a win for a frugal gluten-free meal. The recipe is very forgiving and I think you could pretty much use anything that you had on hand. Thank you so much for joining me to make this frugal gluten-free meal of Southwest egg roll in a bowl. I think this is gonna be a hit a new family fave. Thank you again to Amanda at Dit.Dot for inspiring me again. And if you haven't checked out her channel, please do so because she is amazing. Give me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. If you cook like I do and anything goes, consider subscribing. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your support. Remember everybody, life is an adventure. So enjoy your journey. Bye-bye.